Hey there, it's Nurgle. Welcome back to my playthrough of Broken Sword. Shadow of the Templars. Where do we leave off? Well, we met our primary protagonist, George Stobalt. There was a bombing. The man that was supposed to talk to, Nico, he didn't make it. He was killed by a bomb. A bomb brought by a clown, a literal clown. So now we need to we need to go after. We feel we feel compelled. George does to help solve this mystery, which is convenient because boy, would that be a boring game if he was just like, okay, on with my vacation. Although you know, vacation simulators seem. What's in here? Hey, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. What do you think you're doing? I was admiring your toolbox. Oh, we had a good look, have you? I'm warning you, if you touch it, I'll crack your nut. Okay, I get your point. Jeez. All right, can you talk? Hey, you. I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, ka! I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a punch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only doing his duty, I guess. Okay, let's see. What do you think about this? Would you like to read my newspaper? I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? All right. Ten minutes is all I get. Jeez. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. <laughs> He'd have me on a drink, so I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, take the newspaper and quit complaining. <laughs> bah! Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Cha! Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Well, nah, dolphins aren't fish, actually. I like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? Ah, what's this? Saladin running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. <laughs> you suffer as reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning, she is. Interesting. Okay. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that nag. Oh, I want to talk to you about the other stuff. David, help yourself. Huh. Okay, well, that was odd. <laughs> I want to talk to you about the other stuff. Oh, well, bye, new friend. Okay. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. <laughs> Everybody just steals everything. <laughs> All right, let's see what it does. It was a metal rod with a handle at one end and a short cross piece at the other. Okay, let's see. What's in here? Set into the huge gate was a smaller access door. <laughs> the door was securely locked. Of course. Okay, we can't go any other way. Oh, let's see. Let's take a look at that. Okay, that was strange. <laughs> that was very strange. Um, Hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, what's that? It's a phone. Okay. Hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. Okay, so we can... Okay, got us. so we can call her. Okay, uh, let's go this way. What can we do around here? We already talked to him. Anything else? I don't see anything else we can... I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. Yeah. It was broken, all right. Okay, good enough. Wait, that's where it came from. All right, let's go here. This oh, this is the way the clown went. Okay. The clown had fled into this alley. Uh -huh. There's no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Hmm. Is there anything in here? What's this? There was nothing of interest. Okay. <laughs> oh. 
What about in this garbage can? <gasps> oh, kitty. Kitty. Oh, I don't run away, kitty. Oh, all right. Anything now? I'd had it with sticking my nose into French trash cans. All oh, right. What's this? Uh, is that a manhole cover? The cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. Oh, I. Good thing we have this tool. Oh, that does work. <laughs> okay, well. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Well, uh, let's go down. I think it's a little weird. We're just like, well, follow the clown. Let's go down to the sewer. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure. Would anybody normally do that? <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Fancy sewers. Holy cow. Let's see. What's this? Oh, yeah, let's just pick stuff up in the sewer. That seems great. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. What? It was the <gasps> oh, okay. Hold on. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Vise du Monde Paris. Hmm. It was a bright red plastic nose. Part of a clown's costume. Okay, well. Let's uh well, let's go keep going into the sewer, I guess. Okay, let's see, what's this? I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. Gross. <laughs> what's this? Man, all kinds of sewer stuff to pick up. This is sewer gold. I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. <laughs> It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Well, there's not really a whole lot else we can do in here. Uh, I'll guess go up. Okay. Oh. Hi there. Hi. Hey. I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What? Trespassing. Come out of there. Immediately. All right. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. Yeah, I don't blame him. I mean, you're just in the sewer. Uh, who are you? Okay, okay. Who are you? What were you looking for? Uh. I was looking for a clown. Huh. Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? Well, it doesn't really matter if you do or not. I in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon dieu! That is awful! Mon dieu! The person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah! Mon dieu! <laughs> then, the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... You chase them up? It's possible. Yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. I was following him. All I know, you are in league with him. Well, I, no, I mean... I'm just a tourist. Yep. Uh -uh. Most tourists are content with the earth. <laughs> yeah, not the sewers. <laughs> I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. Well, that's weird. Okay, uh, let's see. Take a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, mm, disgusting. It is. It's true. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? <laughs> what emptied their nostrils into it? Do you recognize this material? Mm. I am not telling you anything. Okay. This is what I used to open the manhole cover. Just as I thought. You are up to no good down those sewers, what you? No. Slip and I would have been up to my neck. 
Uh, pull the stone. The well, let's let's have some stuff first. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type, <laughs> just like you. Hey. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you. Hey. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you say. Pa. Uh. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? Ooh. No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. Okay. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Ew. Ah, you need some sensible boots. <laughs> okay. Uh... Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rousseau? What does that say? Hominoid division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. <laughs> Hominoid division? Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different. Past <laughs> <laughs> your, your, your poise. Yeah. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And... Uh, I should know. I was in the army. No, you don't say. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life mm -hmm. in the African desert. How can I help you? Well, okay. Let's talk. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face suddenly next to mine. His grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. <laughs> oh, no. He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. <laughs> yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she uh... worked at the cafe oh, uh, six uh, Seven months ago. Okay. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Ew. Uh, what about this? Does this piece of material mean anything? Yeah, you were weird when I asked you about it before. Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. Aha. Uh -huh. Anywhere. Well, okay, so a jacket, you say? Uh, Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? Plantar. No, it doesn't. Okay. What about that jacket? About the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. Huh. Because otherwise, it was a fine piece of quality tailor. Interesting. It had the tailor's name instantly. <gasps> What was the tailor's name? Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. What? Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Mm. Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Well, I mean, that, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm up against a mastermind. What was the name on the label? Yeah. Ah, it was a foreign name. Todrick, I think. Huh. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone. Ooh. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with numbers that I learned in the desert. Huh. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. <laughs> so I get a reward. Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Indeed. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? 
Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his... Aha, uh -huh. yeah. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Hmm. Hard to say. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. Indeed. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Okay. Uh, nothing else to talk to him about. Is there anything we can do in here? No? Can we go back down? I don't... Hmm. Okay, oh, we go out of it. Thanks to your help. Yeah, bye. The Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. A little. I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. Mm -hmm. I hope you catch that killer soon. Me too. Me too. So the clown had escaped into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, mm -hmm. and then slipped back into the street here. Yep. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Indeed. We should call Nico and tell her that. And we'll call Nico next time. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Broken Sword. Shadow of the Templars. Next time, we pick up a phone and call somebody. I'll see you then.